All right, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, before I get started, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Wawrach Hakwadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rachak Wadash, that's the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. A salutation to all the brothers out there. And um, this uh, lesson is going to be based on a conversation that I had with one of the brothers uh, out here in Chicago. And um, we were talking about how, um, you know, you can't really, you know, let, you know, these, uh, you know, trials and tribulations, these afflictions. And basically, you know, these, you know, wicked people, you know, bother you too much. You know, you can't let that... Uh, you know, overtake you, so to speak, you know, because look, you got to remember that you're in Babylon the Great, you know, and that's something that you, hey, brothers, remember that you're in Babylon the Great, you know, so you're going to see, you know, complete wickedness, you're going to see things that are off, things that are bugged out, all right, and of course, you know, you're, uh, you know, you hate, you know, the evil that's pushed out, you know, that's pushed forth, but I'll say this, at times you got to, you know, Basically, just, you know, brush it off, you know, and don't let it bother you so much. Because if you literally, um, in a sense, you know, nitpick every little thing in here, hey, it, 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 it'll drive you crazy. You know, that's why the scriptures, and you know, let me start off with this. Um, let me start off with uh, the, the scripture where it talks about being over-righteous, okay? Um, where is it? Right here. This is... Uh, in uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 16, it says, Be not righteous over much, neither makest thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Okay? And you see, if you nitpick every little thing that occurs or, you know, every little thing that you see, you're going to drive yourself crazy. Okay? You know, you're going to have, you know, high blood pressure. You know, you, you may have an anxiety attack, you know? You're going to be stressed out, have no energy, okay? So, you know, at times, you you just got to let it go. You know, you got to have that balance, you know, that, that uh, you know, uh, the balance of, you know, you know, when, you know, uh, when and when not to curse things out, when and when not to, you know, let things, you know, uh, bother you, when and when not, you know, to let things slide, all right? You got to weigh everything out in the balance, Okay? You can't be too far right or too far left. All right? Because as it says in Proverbs 11 and 1, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. All right? But let me get this. Uh, let me get this scripture here. This is the scripture I, uh, I intended to bring out first, but through the Spirit, I got that Ecclesiastes. But uh, let me get this. This is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. All right? 38 verse 18. And it reads here, For of heaviness cometh death, and the heaviness of the heart breaketh strength. And you see, when you're too heavy, okay, and we have too much heaviness, you know, you know, uh, it could be, you know, depression, you know, you know, uh, you know, anger, you know, things like that. That, hey, that can kill you quickly, okay? Like I said, you could have high blood pressure, have a heart attack, have a stroke, you know? Said you would just be drained out, worn out. And you see, you, you can't be uh, uh, worrying about every little thing because it's either going to uh, cause you to die, or as it says there, it's going to um, you know, break your strength. You know, you'll get weak because it'll be too much. All right? It'll be too much. I'm going to keep reading. It says, In affliction also sorrow remaineth, which we understand that too. Like I said, it's about a balance. You know, of course, you know, you're going to be sorrowful. Of course, you're going to be mourning. All right. But at the same time, you, yeah, you should be joyful, too. Hey, you know, of course, you know, these afflictions, you know, don't feel good. As the scriptures say in uh, the book of Hebrews, hey, that chastisement for the present moment doesn't feel good. Hey, but what happens? It brings that um, peaceable fruit. OK. You know. We understand that. Hey, we understand that, um, you know, um. You know, hey, you you want this to end? You you know you want to get into the kingdom? Hey, that's all understandable, okay? We get that, but you cannot let it overtake you, all right? 
So I'm going to read that again. In affliction also sorrow remaineth. Oh, I was going to add this too. Hey, you got to look on the bright side of things as well. All right? That's another thing. Look on the bright side of things. Hey, when you... Because uh, th this is something that I do. When you see the increase of wickedness, okay? Like I said, you do get vexed because it's still, you know, uh, you know off. It's not right. Hey, but look. You got to remember that this kingdom, right? It has to reach a, uh, a, 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 high, a particular level or height of wickedness okay so when you see you know more and more you know abominable works it's actually a good thing because that means our lord and savior yahweh shai is going to come and you see the yahweh yahweh ba shimei al shai they're they're only going to allow so much evil and wickedness to occur eventually it's going to hit a point a mark okay and once it's that point or mark then look the Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, is going to send His Son Yahweh Shai to come back, save us, and to you know uh, judge the wicked. All right. Now I'm gonna finish this off. Sirach 38 and 19. In affliction also sorrow remaineth, and the life of the poor is the curse of the heart. Verse 20. Take no heaviness to heart. I'm gonna read that again. Take no heaviness to heart. Okay. Drive it away. Drive it away, Akim. Okay, when you're in those low spirits, hey, think about, like I said, think about the good things. And if you need to, hey, go talk to a brother. You know, hey, go on a, a walk. Hey, go go to the forest preserve or the, you know, the lake, the ocean. You know, wherever you're at. You know, you know the the, the creeks. You know what? You know whatever. You know the you know the the, the the you know the nature trails. Go, hey, go take a walk and meditate. Relax. Clear your mind out. Hey, go like I said. Hey, maybe go. Hey, grab some, you know, some grub with the brother, you know? You know, they do those things to um, ease your mind or whatever you, uh, you like to do. Hey, maybe you like to work out. Maybe you like to play basketball. Maybe you like to play some video games. I don't know. Whatever it is, hey, go do it, okay? But hey, whatever it is, hey, hey drive it away. Oh, hey, th that thing that's bothering you, that's, you know, pulling you down, look, hey, drive it away. Don't think about it too much. And look, if it's a particular thing that's, um, how would I put that? Well, you're in a particular situation, you know, and you got to get out of it. Hey, look, you got to labor to get out of that as well. You can't just be lazy, you know? Hey, let's just say you don't like your living conditions. Hey, maybe save up some money, you know, move to a new location. If you don't like that, you know, particular job you're in, you know, hey, hey, keep, you know start, you know, getting your uh, resume ready. Start hey, putting out applications, Okay. Hey, those are just a couple of things, okay, that you, you know, hey, you could do to better your situation, whatever it is, I'm not exactly sure, but hey, whatever it is that's bothering you in your life, hey, tr uh, hey, to the best of your ability, hey, try to fix it through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? I'm going to keep reading. It says, drive it away and remember the last end. And look, you got to remember that at the end of the day, all this is going to cease, okay, because that's biblical prophecy, all right? Hey, the end of what, what's the end of this place? A, a desolation, you know, uh, destruction. Okay, that's the end of this place. And what's the end for us? A salvation, a dominion, a glorious and everlasting kingdom. That's what's coming. Okay, and that's what should you know um, should bring you joy. And look, I'll say this. Let me get this scripture. You, you, you Arkham shouldn't be in such a low spirit Because look We're actually seeing the downfall of our enemy We're actually um, Experiencing this scripture right now It's actually playing out right before our eyes Alright We're living it This is It's actually happening in real time This is Sirach 25 and 7 There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy In the tenth I will utter with my tongue A man that had joy of his children And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy and you see we're actually experiencing that we're seeing the downfall of starting first with Esau Edom the heathens and also the wicked two-thirds of our own people okay we're seeing that hey look I you know the job that I do I encounter a lot of different souls and spirits a lot of different nations and I'll say this hey these uh, uh 
these people aren't doing good out here. They're really not. A lot of them have lost money. Hey, they're, they, 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 not just money. Hey, they, they, they have uh, issues with the relationships. You know, they have you know uh, relationship issues. You know, marital issues. Okay. A lot of them are you know psychologically messed up. They're depressed. They're down. A lot of people are scared. These people are a, they're they're taking a lot of L's. They may put on a front, okay. You know to to basically portray, you know that they're you know strong and that they're doing good, but a lot of these people look. That's just you know, that's something they put on you know TikTok and you know Instagram and Facebook. You know, but hey, hey behind closed doors. You know when they hey, when they you know really get at home, hey these people are depressed. They're they, they're losing, okay. And, they, and with that being said, we should be happy. You know, it, 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 we're entering into the time of of us being, you know, um, us being joyful, us being happy. Okay. You know, we, you know, for a long time, hey, we were what mourning, weeping. You know, but uh, suffering. But now we're getting into the stage where. Hey, 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 the uh, the roles are being reversed. These people are suffering. They're mourning. Now we're laughing. Hey, we're joyful. Okay. So just remember that, brothers. But um, you know, I'm not gonna make this too long. I'm gonna, you know, you know, cut this video right now. But um, you know, that's pretty much it. Now, hey, Akimate, just take no heaviness to heart. All right. Hey, don't be in uh, you know, bad spirits all the time. You know. Hey, and just. Hey, you remember the good things. Don't always so focus so much on the negative. Focus on the positive, okay? And have some goals and you know aspirations, so called, okay? You know, to make your situation better, because there's nothing wrong with that as well. Now we understand this place is gonna you know end at some point, but I'll say this: while we're in Babylon the Great, why be at the bottom? You know what I mean? Hey, start climbing to the top. You know? Start climbing to the top. Hey, 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 push forth. Do better for yourself. Hey, the scriptures say, do good unto thyself. All right? And, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, this was just, you know, some quick exhortation. You know, I hope this was, you know, edifying. Hopefully this, you know, uh, boosted brother's spirits as well. And with that, you know, we're going to give all praise, and honor, glory to Allah, Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of great mills. On the salutations to you, brothers out there. Shalom.